My name is Eve Kemp. I'm your friendly neighborhood painter. Oh, it's pony time. Ride him. Ah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I want the White House full of my art. I, th I think it would help things. I was born April 15th, 1963, Flint, Michigan. Same day Leonardo da Vinci was born. And the Easter Sunday, my mother had planned to go to a concert which my father was playing at. My father was a great musician. I admire my father for never being there. He was always busy creating. So I thought he was actually a good guy. I left Flint, Michigan after I married my high school sweetheart. After so many years of marriage, I found myself yearning to be free. So I went and bought a bunch of paint after I finished recording a record for Quincy Jones. I had never painted, never knew what painting was, had no idea what I was getting myself into, and I started to paint. I did a drawing, a small drawing for my music lawyer because his mother was dying. At that point, I took off, went to Europe. At nine dollars in my pocket, I was homeless in Europe. All I did was paint every day. It's one of the best experiences of my life. There's two sides to every story, particularly when you're talking about a self-portrait. This one definitely has two sides to it. As a portrait of myself, it has to have um, a most spontaneous passion to it. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, so. I like to have two pieces normally, if not more, uh, to work at the same time because one pushes me into a time frame and the other releases me from a time frame. Right now. creating the atmosphere of which the painting will live in. It's building. I'm in it now. It's actually going to drive me crazy today. It's going to drive me nuts. Because now I'm just going to keep going and going and going and it's going to fucking weigh 500 pounds. It's just a rush. It's, it's a rush and a rush and a rush. The amazing part is it's going to feel ancient. To, to find that old, ancient ruin feeling in it is the part that's freaking me out. Because I can feel it. Like I would have... It could just be a comedy. It could just be funny. But it's not. And now it's time to see. I have two pieces sitting here because... Um, the story of Mona Lisa is a double-headed monster or two-headed dragon for me. There's two sides, if not a multitude, to my personality, so I decided to present her as a double-headed monster in the 21st century. So the materials that I'm using is, of course, oil and, and acrylic. I use a special material that's basically used for the houses or the, in the exterior buildings in Morocco. It is about two days of work, what would equal uh, 24 hours if I put the days together. I also am aspiring w within the journey of Mona Lisa to answer that great mystery. It wasn't only about the smile, it wasn't only about the eyes. There was a mystery inside of all of that. And I think Mona Lisa with dreads definitely is a walk into ancient times. <laughs> All the way back to the beginning <laughs> where it started.